YouTube, what's going on today, man? Listen, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today's YouTube upload, I got a banger for you, man. I got a video of me reacting to, uh, well... Me. It's the story of Nick Merck's part two. These guys did a part one a long time ago. We watched it on stream. I don't know if we uploaded it, but everybody loved it. They did a really, really great job, and they did a part two, and it's even better. So we watched it, we reacted to it, and now we're going to upload it. I want you guys to see some of this stuff. A lot of you guys have shown up on my channel during the Fortnite days, the Warzone days, some of the biggest blowups of my career. But look, there was a whole six to eight to nine, ten years before that that you guys missed. Not all of you guys. So we're going to take a little trip together. You guys can see some cool stuff, I guarantee you. If and when you like the video, don't forget to like the video, man. Please. And I want to give a shout out to the people that made it. These guys did a great job. Look, fam, I appreciate you all, man. Thank you. Their links are down below in the description. And I want you guys to drop a comment down below and tell me when you found my channel, whether it be on YouTube, Twitch, Kick, however it may be. I want to see who's who in here and what's what. Guys, as always, enjoy today's YouTube upload. Have a great day. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Peace and love, baby. The story of Nick Merck's 2.0 controller god. Oh, God, Gary. But, uh, damn. Th this is... The score? The score always does good work, right, but, uh, chat? Damn. Th this has got to be one of the best games I've ever played. I mean that. You're actually quitting? Like, officially? I mean, I, I, like, I might come back in a couple weeks and check out the new update or something, but I'm playing Apex. Yeah. And I'm going to upload Apex. <laughs> if they don't like it, they can suck it. I go to drink my smoothie <laughs> and think about Apex. I go take a shower thinking about Apex. Here, is this all about Fortnite. Apex? Boy, took over on Fortnite early with that controller gang and dominated. Then we went to Warzone. Gary, is this all about Apex? We won two big tournaments back to back to back and made some serious noise right. in the Warzone BR, and now we're over here on Apex. Yeah, if it was only about now Apex, then I was gonna rotate. I'm uploading whatever the hell I'm, I'm down playing. for. That's it. I don't care anymore. I can't. Uh, give me one. Give me crack. Give me crack, right? Give me crack, right? Give me Hey, this was the squad, left. bro. One more left. One nice. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Okay, I don't have this on a snipe yet. Oh. I just, oh, what's up? What's up? What's up? How many I gotta put in the f dirt? This is loud, bro. I f with it though. Ah! Loud as hell, man. Chad, is this too loud? Suck it, baby. Suck it. I'm your f dad. Yo, I was kind of yoked, bro. I was kind of yoked, bro. Yeah, yeah. God damn. I'm your dad. I'm your father, Evan. You hear me? You hear me? I was like an intro. <laughs> I'm your daddy. Damn. Why are they using that picture, bro? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny, bro. Fortnite spawned an entire generation of big name streamers, superstars, Mithy more baby. famous than the gaming world Nija, Nija. Has ever seen. When JD, time, all of us played. It's been a it's been a while, dude. Gangs all here, dude. <laughs> Some of these stars have become so synonymous with the game that it's impossible to picture one without thinking. Bro, real quick note: it was crazy when Timmy lost his hair on his head so he thought for a moment that he would just grow his beard out as long as he could and like it's okay because the hair just moved to a different part of his head like we wouldn't notice or something but, but we noticed he tried to do that for like a year <laughs> thinking of the other that said a few of fortnite's so biggest Walmart stars Vikings. have found a way oh, to man. split off from the franchise they got their start in but none were able to make the transition quite as smoothly as nicholas nick merck's culture i don't know how one of the things i hate i don't hate i just it bothers me when people don't include because this is the story of nick merck's but you're starting on chapter like 15. fortnite was lit but that's not where we started. What about like all the Gears days and Halo days and like, remember me and Neo and Gage like playing the S&D days and shit? Like, that was lit, bro. I guess maybe you're right. You're probably right, you're probably right. I don't know, I just... That building is... And what's more, leaving Fortnite for Call of Duty Warzone was neither the first nor the last time that Nick Merckx switched games. Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry for the late upload. I was up all night last night playing, uh, 
Apex. <laughs> Yo, my eyes. Before sink Nick Murdoch became known as the biggest streamer oh, on the no. planet and the one true controller oh, god of battle royales, he was actually a Gears of War. Computer. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Who's taking it home? I'm <laughs> Wait a minute! He also played a little bit of professional Halo, around the same time that future fellow Fortniter, Ninja, was doing the same. Okay! Ass every night, man. I mean, no matter what, no matter what game, Halo, COD, Gears of War, beating ass. So oh, I knew I was good, but I had no idea it would turn into this, you know what I mean? Piggybacking on his Gears of War fame to build a following, oh, yeah. in 2010, Nick Merckx joined Twitch's precursor, Justin TV, Damn. and in 2011, Bro, I spoke too soon. This guy's got me fucking dated, bro. YouTube. Throughout the years, he streamed games like Call of Duty Black Ops 3, yeah! Outlast, Destiny 2, and even Monopoly, interspersed yeah! with Falcon segments. Even early on, Nick was never afraid to try something different, even if that meant shoulder pressing on camera in an era where streaming was just about gaming. Yeah, but it wasn't until okay, the my bad, my bad. That's on me. That Nick Merckx found the game that would catapult him into the streaming stratosphere. True, very true. You got that, bro. No. As always, in Fortnite, Nick balanced the casual with the competitive. He joked, grinded, screamed, and fragged out in a scene that allowed you to be an entertainer and Canadian as helmet fragged out. out. A competitor all at once. Out. And in Fortnite's early days, he set several world records, including one for the most squad kills twice. One more. Let's go! As his streaming channels generated more and more views, Nick Merckx was invited to join Hundred Thieves, an org owned by fellow COD aficionado and friend <laughs> Nadeshot. Unfortunately, uh, the promising <laughs> arrangements quickly soured due to internal conflicts. Oh so, bro, no! Chill with the honcho! Wait, CEO, wait, wait. what's one, up, bro? Two. Is this some CEO it? shit? Oh, this was a juice. Watch, you, watch your hand. Watch your hand. Because well. cause, cause the dog bites back, homie. In May of 2019, Nick oh, Merckx and Hunter Thieves That was a stinky clip, bro. That was a stinky yeah, clip. As hard as it is for me to admit this, I just don't have the knowledge and the... I don't have... I can't sit down at those tables and, and talk that business with those guys. I just didn't take those classes. I didn't go to college to do and work and, and say a lot of the things that those guys say so that's it, it, you know when the hundred thieves thing started i didn't have anybody to represent me or lead me or guide me all i had was my all buddy true. nate shot all and he true. let that shit spin out of control Damn. The that same month that Nick Merckx became part of FaZe Clan, the notoriously scrappy org that seemed better suited to his game bro persona. But not only that, I get to start with a, you know, a new and improved, uh, you know, team in gaming, you know, a, a, a colossal, and that's something that I'm stoked for, to be honest with you. And the org swap wasn't the only big change for Nick Merckx that year. On July 8th, he proposed to longtime girlfriend Emumita Bonita on stream. She goes, Oh my god, honey, we gotta get married here. I go, why? She goes, <laughs> she, they call her Emumita Bonita. No shot, bro. That's so great. But they have chickens. I'm like, <laughs> I don't even, I don't. I don't think <laughs> that's the hard, bro. officially tied the knot on October 10th, yeah. 2020. But yeah. not all of Nick Merckx's long-term commitments were meant to last. Aww. Earlier that year, right around the time the world shut down due to a global pandemic, ah, here we go. he became enraptured with a new game, Call of Duty Warzone. The good old pandemic. And Fortnite fell by the wayside. It's such a, such a well-made BR, man. I feel really bad for people that just can't 
br break out and enjoy it. You know what I mean? I mean, hey, if you're addicted to Fortnite and you're rocking it, it's your thing. No harm, no foul. But, uh, damn. Th this has got to be one of the best games I've ever played. I mean that. Just in terms of balance, flow, pace, the weapons, the fights, the, the skill gaps. Well, this video it's has incredible. me locked in right now, bro. I'm locked. Making a full-time jump to an entirely new game can make or break streamers. But Nick Merckx was not about to dance to the beat of anyone else's drum, but his own. Warzone became his new right. obsession, and you he was going to follow right. his heart whether anyone liked it or not. Luckily for Nick Merckx, his fans didn't just like the move, they loved it. On top of this, on top of this, careful. Last one. <laughs> the classic. Yeah. Oh! I forgot about this clip. Oh. Dude, what is it? What, what server are we on? Is it nice? <clears throat> yeah, this is like that fourth sobo man I've killed. I got sniped me. I have a guy down on me, though. Oh my god, Glock's gonna lose his have mind. I <laughs> have <laughs> done you haven't done more than 2,000 damage all f day! Right, 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 right! right. right. You haven't done more than 2,000 damage! Comment hey, down, Peter Gallery, should you be guy, eating? Rod. Maybe the more food you eat, the better Rod. you would get, Rod. badass! But that's not how it works! <laughs> Nick Merckx became one of the first big Fortnite creators to embrace Warzone and make it his go to game on stream. About, and it was important. I forgot about this clip. This is the dirtiest clock got absolutely shit on, bro. But that's not how it works! You know why? Nick. What? what? Look, chat. This was real. Look at this guy up here. You see him? Watch what he does to Denny. Merckx became one of the first big Fortnite. Oh, dude, yo, fucking three. Yo, this is some phase up shit, bro. I've never seen anything like it. Nick Merckx became one of the first big Fortnite creators to embrace <laughs> Warzone and make it his go-to game on stream. And it was important to him that his community oh, felt yes, at home man, in yes, college. Yes, Nick yes, Merckx yes. established and oh. ran a tournament series, the oh, M Fan. Gauntlet, and made sure the tournament's yeah. namesake, MFAM, as his <laughs> subscribers are known, felt included and welcome in this new space. First barbecue, first Where's barbecue, first barbecue. Where? On me. Shamu! Yeah, in the back. Weak, weak, no shield. In the hut. Yeah. Let's f***ing go, baby. Let's go! Get the f*** out yeah. of my lobby! Nick Merckx was someone who never needed anyone's approval to do his own thing. He was as intensely passionate about Warzone as he was about everything else that mattered to him whether it was clicking heads in game or his community's welfare. For Nick Merckx, it was always the combination of genuine personality and undeniable talent that has been his signature feature, not what game was on the screen. And that energy continued to draw in more We're people for that who one. wanted to see him do what he did best. The energy, the MFAM, the frags, and the passion became an unstoppable train barreling towards the top of Twitch. Hey, are you? If you would have landed there with me originally, we would have been fine. We were all dead. It's the full send. No, we would have had it. Deep was giving us shots. You're just floating up there and fucking landing. Just land there with me. Recognition of Nick Merckx's efforts and big sponsorships followed. Instead of losing viewers, as could be expected after such a radical change, his slice of the streaming pie grew even bigger. But after a sizzling year and a half with Warzone, Nick Merckx found himself on the receiving end of massive COD burnout. I have no desire whatsoever to play Warzone. Zero. <laughs> I mean, like, goose egg. I, I'd rather play f***ing Pokemon. I'm serious, man. <laughs> he tried to shake things up a bit by dabbling in Fortnite and ramping up his fitness content. I did, I but did. But like any bona fide gamer, he was missing the fire that a truly outstanding FPS could light under his well-practiced behind. This guy's got me, bro. He's got me down. It wasn't just that Warzone was getting stale. There was also a massive, unaddressed cheating problem to contend with. Yep. You can't even get up a ladder, but you have 100 KD, right? Nice f***ing automated system, dog shit. You should feel bad about yourself, actual. Yeah, I'd say get you. your money back, but it's a free game. That account's getting banned. Go make another one. Guys, it's getting crazy out there, all right? <laughs> People have programs that are designed <laughs> to see everybody in your lobby. It was bad, Stream snipers have tools they've never had before to stream snipe us, to hack on us, 
It's getting ridiculous. The boys and I are low-key really fed up, man. On top of all that, now that Nick Merckx has had a taste of the freedom of choice, if a new game was going to call out to him, he was going to answer that call. Which is exactly what he did once he discovered Apex Legends. Then we went to Fortnite. Your boy took over on Fortnite early with that controller gang and dominated. Then we went to Warzone. We won two big tournaments back to back to back and made some serious good video. In Warzone BR. And now we're over here on Apex. I don't know what the plan is, but I'm invested. I'm yeah, he did his homework, man. Behind you, behind you. Crack, 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 crack down. Another one on you. I'm reloading. Jumping on you. Flash, flash, turn around, turn around, turn around. Just team him. Dead. Nice. Hurry, hurry, hurry. End, 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 end. And I'm dead. Baby J, here's your new baby man. Yo, come to me. I'm in the best spot. Really good fight. Do you have any I'm names for this? I'm with you. Okay, okay. Nick, Nick, get up. 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 Can't, can't, can't. Can you scan? Popping off, yeah. They're jumping on you, Nick. Can't, can't see, see, can't see. I just got lasered. I just got lasered. I can't see, bro. I'm, just, I'm, with oh. Nick, I'm with Nick on floor. Nick Merckx got so into Apex that he reached what mass the? rank after less than two weeks of playing. What do you know? Huh? Landing at intro, the same spot. Intro vibes. Inserting the same dick with the same two lads that have been playing the same week and a half. I like this music, Diving man. Diving headfirst into Apex helped Nick Merckx gain a new appreciation for the particular playing style he was known for, using a controller instead of a mouse and keyboard, and mouse. draw apt comparisons between the games that helped shape his career thus far. He's become the Battle Royale tastemaker. The, the physical demand, it might sound corny, but the physical demand on your hands from playing Apex to Warzone is crazy. Apex, there's, there's more going on, man. I, there's just more going on. You gotta do more with your f***ing hands, I'm telling you, than Warzone, okay? Now, it might be because I'm putting a lot of time in, but listen to me right now. There's no game like Fortnite. Nothing. F nothing. The, when you see a good, a really good controller player on Fortnite, I need you to know the stuff they're doing is insane. That's it's still f Still holds insane. true today. It's not Still holds even true today. comparable to Apex or Warzone. Absolutely. Today, Nick Merckx is one of the most prolific streamer personalities on the planet. He's been on the cover of Sports Illustrated. He has millions of followers across his various channels, tens of thousands of which tune in each time he goes live. As the elite proxy for the everyman gamer, Nick Merckx has managed to gain the love of his followers without sacrificing who he was in the process, or giving up his right to choose what to do on stream. And then at this point in the house, if you have somehow managed to take five shits and you need to take a sixth, you can do it in here. Nick Merckx has transcended the games he plays. His viewers are no longer here for the titles. They're here for Nick Merckx. Aww, chat, is that true? Is that true, chat? Aww. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, <laughs> hit the sub button. Aww. I ain't gonna hold you. That was pretty good. <sighs> Bro, he had us in the first half, huh? I thought he wasn't gonna say anything about, like, you know, <laughs> the early days, and he hit everything, man. Literally everything. That was cool, man. Very, very cool. W video.